Oh my is god. Is that about right? What are you doing? Dear, dear. Uh, You're not actually trying to stay warm, look. You're wearing a t shirt for pity's sakes. <laughs> there we go. That's a bit better. Is that better? Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to go. Let's go. Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! It's 2022 Christmas. We're filming in November. Feels a little bit odd. Bit weird. It's still a tiny bit warm, so hence Will's in the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. So, yeah. stick with us. We have got 12 camper van or camping gifts um, that we think will be really good for this year. Range of prices. Range of prices. Yeah. And to top it all, we have a competition. We do. So you've got to stay right until the end of the video for your chance to win one of these Christmas gifts that we're yeah. going to feature. And, and we have more. We're actually on location. So if you stay watching, <laughs> there's more. if you stay watching, you'll find out exactly where we're on location. Are you sure you haven't been to QVC for some training? I could go. I could, well, you'll have to see, won't you? <laughs> Rate me in the comments below but as wait, to my QVC. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Let's kick it off anyway. Let's kick it off. Okay, so number one. At number one. We have, the passed by my able assistant, we have one of these. Now, if you haven't seen this on the channel before, <laughs> uh, it's a Bellman coffee maker. Um, this is a CX25P, uh, and this makes the best camper van coffee. Mean coffee. We have tried loads of different ways of making coffee. Uh, and when we say our coffee for us, we like milky coffees, so cappuccinos, flat whites, those kind of things. This has the steaming arm. The wand. The wand. With steam control, as you would imagine. Coffee goes in the top, pressure, pressure gauge. gauge. You Honestly, this makes the best coffee. Espresso comes uh, out here. Not we've had it independently hand. verified that this makes the best coffee. Basically because we make other people, when we go camping with friends and everything else, we make coffee and they say, how on earth did you make that coffee? It tastes amazing. It's not me, it's the Bellman. And it's good enough for the Aussies. And if you've been watching our Australian series, you know, there's some shops we found out there that actually sell these. Yeah, coffee shops sell these. And if it's good enough for the Aussies, it's more than good it's, enough for us. It's good. Yeah, quality bit of kit. So, Bellman is on the list. And by the way, all of the products that we're talking about here, um, we have got links to all of these in the video description. Uh, so if you want to know where you can buy any of this stuff, then just check it out in the yeah. video description. And we promise, although we might have started off with something that's fairly expensive, there's actually a lot of cheaper stuff to come. Yeah. So keep watching. Yeah, right, keep so watching. number two, this is me. So we have <laughs> somebody dancing around outside the van, and you'll get to see who that is later. The second one is this wonderful Yeti cooler. Now we like this because it's for keeping your can nice and cool. And excitingly, you don't get the condensation on it either. So it's this lovely, like, um, but it's basically a flask that you can pop your can in. Come in a range of colours. So this is Will's. Um, he's gone for the white one. I've got a minty green one. And um, yeah, there's still somebody dancing yeah. around outside <laughs> the van. That if you get to see any shadows, they're, they're still there. And this bit on the top here, this little bit here, that is rubberized. Um, so actually, you can sometimes get away with putting beer bottles in there as well. Now we bought this in Australia and this actual one fits um, cans at a 375 mil, which is a very strange size here in the UK. So we're actually going to pad it out with something at the bottom of it to do 330s. But if you go onto the yeti.co.uk website, you can actually you can buy them, them for the 330s, which is perfect. And we love these. They're absolutely fantastic. They really, work. really happy with them. They work, work brilliantly. Well. Yeah. 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 You can put bottles in as well, can't you? Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. It, it, um, we think. You definitely well, can the, in this yeah, bigger yeah, one, yeah, yeah, no, whether you can in the smaller one, I'm not sure, but it has got that rubber bit around it there. But it does keep your so drink lovely and cold, it's doesn't beautiful. it? beautiful, yeah. yeah, and stops you getting sort of wetty, condensated hands, does. so excellent. Does. Right, on to number three then. Number three. So what number three is this furry little devil. Now, these are quite expensive, but... <laughs> can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> very, very well worth it. Now, you might have seen this in one of our other videos, but if you haven't, this is a Mophie charger for phones, watches, AirPods, those kind of things. I think it's more specifically aimed at the iPhone yeah. market. Now, what happens with this? So it comes in this little, little pouch. In the pouch you get a little charger. So that's a, uh, it's a three plug, pin travel charger, um, which obviously works on if you've got a hookup. Um, it's run on USB-C, so it comes with that cable in there as well. 
but this magnetically holds together and it looks like that. So it's got a MagSafe charger in the middle for your iPhone. Uh, it does also work for other wireless devices as well. You've got a wireless charging pad there, which is meant for iPods. Um, it did work for my phone as well. And it does work for a phone as well. So we were regularly charging two phones on here. Yeah. And this little bit on the end, if I get it the right way around, stands up Ooh. and that's where you put your Apple Watch. Um, so it will sit on there quite nicely. USB-C goes in the back there. And then when you finish with it, you can pop it all down, pop it all away and it goes nice and small and folds up into its little it's felt very pouch. good and very that, handy although it's expensive and i really really didn't want to spend that kind of money on a charger actually it's been worth its it, weight on gold we take this to be everywhere honest. with us yeah. we don't think now about you know have we got the right cable for this how are we going to charge that we've both got iphones we've both got apple watches uh, it charges really quickly it just seems to work perfectly so yeah it's good cool. okay right now, because we're on location, with the that means people that are doing jigs outside the van and trying to make us laugh and almost succeeding. Number four <laughs> is camper van carpets. carpets. Let's see what they've got in their Christmas grotto. Let's go. So you join us on location for number four, and who are we with? We are with our friends at Camper Van Carpets. So you will have seen our video a few months back where you can have a see in how they make their actual carpets. So have a view of that up there, absolutely fantastic. But we're back because as well as their amazing carpets, they are now doing an entire range of things to personalize your van. So what do we have? We have various rainbow buntings down here in our grotto workshop. Buntings. <laughs> buntings. So <laughs> rainbow, rainbow buntings. So tell us about the rainbow bunting then, Ali. Um, well, these are mini bunting because yeah. um, obviously normal, I think we mentioned this in your last video actually, the normal bunting can be quite large for a California. So we've made a smaller size one that fits perfectly just sort of above the kitchen. Um, so with a couple of command hooks, it, they, it goes up. Um, and the rainbow colours kind of just go with everything and it just gives it a bright, happy feeling. So as you enter your van, it's just quite nice to see a bit yeah. of colour. Um, and we came up with these designs that we um, we vinyl them, heat them on, so they're, they're permanent. But uh, yeah, Pete, we, then we thought actually it'd be quite nice for people to choose their own designs. So did you hear that? <laughs> Custom designed bunting. Yes, so, so we now we do bespoke bunting so people can choose, they get seven flags and then they can choose whatever colour coordination they would like. I mean, they could have it plain um, or red or something, and that would only cost twelve ninety nine. But if they want to choose their own um, images to put on it, then it is fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. And we're going to get a little bit more um, video as well, which we'll all put over this of all of the other different types of bunting that Ali's got around the workshop grotto here. Um, <laughs> so you can have a look and see all of the different things that you could potentially have on your bunting. And I'm been told that there is a special customizable bit of the website coming soon and Chris is now rolling his eyes at me of really soon, soon. <laughs> soon we are told so what else do we have as apart from the bunting oh this bunting. is fantastic um well these cushions we've had for a while yep um, we get these um embroidered um, they're quite a large size they're sort of uh, 50 by 50 which is quite handy because you could use them as cushions but you can also we used to use them in our camp as under pillows or if you put a pillowcase on top yeah. you can actually use it as a pillow nice um so Lots and actually colours. you can instead of putting a pillow inside you could put um one of those fleece blankets inside and use that and then you know, doubles up. It, yeah, it's, you, know, you need to sort of be worried about space don't yeah. you, when you've got things. Cool. So we have a Hotel California, various yeah. different colours, and then we do a California Dreaming. So people tend to buy one of each, to be honest, and they get sort of matching, coordinating colours. Very nice. Um, we just do coasters here. We've got uh, like peace sign ones. They come as a pack of two. Mm -hmm. Very inexpensive. I think they're two pound forty nine for them, um, and you can have like silicone ones, yellow or. The green's quite popular because a lot of the camping equipment seems to come in green for the kettles and the, you know all the camping stuff. Um, and then we have pretty last things, but not least. fun things Look at these. to um, yeah, just to personalise your van and make it a fun place to be. Really, um, this is obviously is very yeah. um, traditional, isn't it? So um, they're one ninety nine. They're very expensive. Really, one ninety nine. Yeah, but That's just so a bit cheap. of fun. You can hang it around your win uh, your um, you know dorm mirror. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Um, these, I love these, Dubby Bears. Um, they're just a little bit of fun and they've got their um, VW Heart logo in they? and a little yeah. bandana. Um, the gonks are, yeah, good luck gonks. They've got a little on their bottom somewhere, I think. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, they're yeah. really cute. This, this is great This one's yeah. Nomad, the gnome. Yeah. And the, um, the cows, these are new, aren't they? Yes. These ones down here. Yes, these we've we've done. We 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 made one for our home actually, and we had so many comments saying, "Oh, that's amazing." Um, we decided to start making them. So they're made out of birch wood, um, and then we obviously we stick the noses on and we stain them, and then we add them. We add the felt crazy hair. So this crazy cow design sort of ties in with our one of our carpet designs called the crazy cow design, and uh, that's, that's quite really popular. Nice. It's, really, it's, really, it's just really fun, cool and the Highland cows. Everybody wants to do the Scotland, the yeah. Yeah, yeah. don't they? So, yeah. so these are um, that's a small. This is a small. This one is the medium, medium. size. Um, the large ones are in production at the moment, but they're quite substantially bigger. So that wouldn't be for a camper. That would be for your home. Yeah. So on a against a nice white wall, yeah. they look really bright and vibrant and just a bit if, fun. If you hold one from the rearview mirror, you want to see out the window. You wouldn't want to <laughs> rattling around a camper the large size. Either of these two are fun. This one particularly, probably. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if either of these will look quite nice on the on the wardrobe yeah. or hanging around on the back of the seat, maybe or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh, they're really pretty. I think they're brilliant. Yeah, so, it's just fun, aren't they? I think really the, the number four, the item, there's multiple items. Multiple, there, but multiple just check items. Out the but there's also, carpets. yeah, you can see you've got a load of key rings and bits here, and Ali's been working on um, sort of putting them together as a nice little bit of wrapping and maybe end up having them a bit of a gift bag potentially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of jazz it up a little bit for Christmas. Just a little stocking thing. Just it's yeah. quite a nice little fun stocking thing. Look at that. Like a Tudor camp. Oh. <laughs> so who wouldn't be upset to receive that on Christmas morning? So make sure you visit the Camper Van Carpets website to check out all these little bits and pieces. Yeah. Talk to Ali about what you might want to do, how you want things, packaging and stuff, and I'm sure she'll be able to sort you out. Yeah. So. And if you fancy it, get yourself some nice carpets as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Ali are ready to go into full-scale production before Christmas and get those okay. mats out to you. <laughs> it does get really busy at Christmas time. I have to go a bit mad. Right, so Great. on to number Back five. Back to the van, and to number five. Right, uh, so at number five, we have a nifty fridge tray. Now, anyone who's got a California, and this is California specific, apologies to other camper van owners, uh, you will know that the fridge that you have at the end of the kitchen, underneath this Christmassy cushion, is... <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask us about the cushion. Don't ask cushion. about the cushion. Um, so underneath that cushion, that's where the fridge is, and the fridge does collect quite a bit of water in the bottom just through normal condensation and, and kind of ice and all that sort of stuff. Now, there's so what we're going to do to solve that problem, Will? So there's various different <laughs> solutions for that. Over the years, we've tried different mats, we've tried you know various different bits and bobs. Yeah. But yes, camper van have come up with this. Now this is a well. I, maybe maybe I just like these kind of things, but this is a beautifully made tray, specific custom size for the bottom of the California fridge. Uh, obviously, got holes in and everything else. It comes with some Is it rub powder coated. It's powder coated, yeah, yeah white white powder nice. coat. Um, comes with some rubber edging as well, so it sits just proud of the bottom. Your water collects underneath it. You can take this out, mop your water out, but it basically means your stuff doesn't get wet because that's the problem we find. I mean, even... Yeah, I mean, you put your beer in there in boxes you, and you're sopping wet, you, isn't it? You go to take a beer out and it's yeah. covered in cardboard because yeah. it's all soggy and yeah. ugh, horrible. Not good. So, very well recommended. First world problem. But there we go. It, is, it is a first world problem. <laughs> it's, it is really beautifully but it, made. But it, it, There's it, no it, sharp edges on this or anything. It, it's lovely. It's really nice. Yeah. Um, they, are, they are a little bit pricey, 39 99 but you're paying for quality. You're only ever, well, you're ob so obviously only ever going to buy one of these, but actually it's chunky, we've tried it? lots of other things, sink mats. It's, it's probably about three or four mil things thick. you can get. It's, um, but it is a lovely, really nice lovely bit made bit of kit, so yep. definitely recommended. We'll be installing that one shortly. We will. Mm. Right. Okay. What are we on to number now then? Six. Six? Okay, number six. Now we spotted these at the Caravan Motorhome Show, Motorhome Caravan Show, whichever one it is, up at the NEC a couple of weeks <laughs> back in October. Motorhome and Caravan Show. Yeah. They change it, <laughs> don't one. they? Because the February one's yeah. called something different to the October one, so we all get confused. Camping Caravan and Motorhome Show. Yes. Um, so we spotted these and you may well have seen them and we have since gone on to buy ourselves a set yeah, of these and these are, are 
fantastic. So these are Outdoor Revolution little lights. So here it's a little USB powered light and I'm going to switch it on so close your eyes. There we go. And you can see that it has got three different dimmings there. This outside of it's all silicon so if you donk your head on it you're all right. And then you actually with these you can buy a set of these things here like reflective that are all reflective inside, inside yeah. that have got velcro on them so wherever you've got some of the soft velcro which on outdoor revolution awnings you get that soft velcro yeah but obviously you can, can then you can buy some stick on stuff buy you some can stick put on it anywhere you like stick it anywhere you like and then you put that there so it acts like an uplighter I can you be, switch on I can hold. your light you pop your little light in there and hey presto an uplighter. Get a nice little uplighter Look that you can that. put outside. So you could quite easily um, pop. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you could quite easily pop some Velcro on your legs for your awning, like your yeah. your awning that you you wind out on the side of your van or anywhere you fancy, basically, as long as you can do it's that. It's really and easy. It's quite lightweight um, as well. So you buy um, these hood things. They come in a pack of two, and I can't They're about remember. Fourteen, fifteen pounds, aren't they? Do two? you buy these as a pair or do you buy those each? each? These each. So. A pack of these and two of these, probably about £35, something like yeah. that. And uh, really quite usable in lots of places. And obviously you can hang. Yeah, you can hang. And right there. And this is where the actual USB That's charger the USB is, charger. isn't it? So is it the green one? All you do is you pull that, that out, go. shove that in a USB socket, charges up. Don't even need to carry a Done. cable with you. And that's it. How good is that? Yeah. Really, really good invention there from Outdoor Revolution. They're brilliant, aren't they? Really quite happy with that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Really, 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 really good and easy one there, and not too expensive either, which we like. Number seven. Okay, number seven. What's in the box, Will? The box contains. No, oh, I won't do it if I can get it open. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, the box contains one of these. Mm -hmm. So. What is this? This is a little tiny micro burner. Uh, you use it on a separate little uh, screw-on gas bottle and it folds out. So all of these fold out um, and it means that you can uh, cook outside on the table. So I've just unfolded all of that. Oh, oh, um, I will get the, it's the got its own maker out to demonstrate. Igniter. Ta-da! Ta -da. Now, I wouldn't class this as a coffee thing, although obviously I, I can use it outside with the Bellman, but it's actually really nice when we've been doing breakfast and we've wanted to cook some bacon and all of those kind of things. Brew a cup of tea. You know, you've got whatever. the awning out maybe, you've got your table on outside, all that kind of stuff, and you want to just have a quick burner outside, but you don't want it taking up loads of space in the van. One of these is yeah. fantastic. It's really, really good actually. Really, really like this. And the best thing about this, £15.80 or something, £16, 16 off, pounds Amazon. off Amazon. Really cheap, I think, for what it is. We've tried other ones. So we've tried a Van Gogh one, we've tried other ones. Yeah, there was one, the first one that we had, it sits on top of the gas bottle and yeah. it all felt incredibly precarious, precarious by the time you start sticking a kettle that's, on top of that as well. That's why we really like this one with the separate yeah. hose on. And actually it's got nice wide legs as well and the feet in the middle of the, or the, the legs in the middle of the burner. It's a good long. Yeah, and you've got an adjustable on the end there. here that's how you turn your gas on and off so you can turn the gas yeah. up and down on the end there really nice actually and honestly you know how sometimes you find on amazon some of the stuff's a bit so so and other times you buy something and you think you know what that's really worth it i can't remember what make it is it's something like quirko or something Quake, like that oh, Quake I can't remember, can't remember. don't know in the description below you'll find it yeah, but really nifty, nifty little piece of nifty, kit that. nifty little bit of kit yeah exactly right excuse me a second while i just have a look at our list see what we're What's doing next, next. we're so doing we've got number eight. eight 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 yes ticket to the aforenamed show that i couldn't remember the name of <laughs> Uh, so the one in February, uh, the tickets are on sale now, that's the one at the NEC, um, so it's a really good show, it is the Camping Caravanning Motorhome yes. show, the one in February. CCM show, yeah. Yeah, so it is the one that's really, really good for seeing lots of awnings, tents. lots of camper vans, tents, accessories. Yeah, loads of camper vans, yeah. There's generally at least a hall full of all of that kind of stuff, rather yeah. than being all motorhomes and caravans. Um, yeah. and Porter cabins and yeah, I mean, there's, it's massive. Awesome. If you haven't been to the it's show massive. before, it's massive. Definitely well worth a visit. Yeah. If not, because you can come and see us. Yay. 
We'll be there on the Saturday. We always tend to try and get there on a Saturday so we can say hello to as many of you as possible. We might be there on another day as well this year. We're not sure. We just going to have to look at diaries and things. We'll let you know nearer yep. the time. But we will definitely be definitely, there. Definitely be on there the on the Saturday. So if you're thinking about buying tickets this far in advance yep. and you feel you, like you want to meet us. Well, I think it's worth a, ward, a, well, a word of warning as well. They sell tickets for the days specific days and they do sell out um, they do you sell can't out. just buy tickets when yeah. you want to and, and get there so pitch up and buy tickets no. these days so like you used to be able it's to it's 12 pounds per person there might be a small booking fee on top of that as well but it's definitely 12 pounds a ticket yeah. um so again makes quite a nice stocking filler of a present and something to look forward to in the new year in the not too distant future it does yeah right cool. Should okay. we crack on with a couple of the Cali bits and yeah, pieces? Yeah, let's go then? for it. Right, so California related bits and pieces. What number is this? We have is got number nine. Nine. Nine, nine um, is this weird looking what thing. What is this, Will? So this is a sink cover. Now you might think, why would you need a sink cover? Well, if you've got an early T5 t5.1 t6 with the solid glass top which covers so over the sink you don't have the right <laughs> you don't have it that. just goes like that yeah if you've got a single action rather than a dual action <laughs> um you will probably know how frustrating it is when you want to cook a cup of tea um cook a cup cook, of tea well make a cup of tea <laughs> Uh, and you have to open the whole of the glass top. It doesn't leave you any work surface. And there's various solutions to that. One of them is this. And this sits really nicely on top of it's where the sink is. It's actually properly shaped. It's properly shaped on the bottom. You can make that out the there. Curve. So uh, they do three different easy. types of this because there's different types of uh, tap which has been fitted on the California over the years. So it's obviously got to be shaped right. <laughs> Thank you, Volkswagen. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, they do three different types. Make sure you pick the right one, but it does give you a lovely um, little surface that sits in the sink. I say it's um, beautiful. Again, probably about sort of three mil thick. Yep. No flex in this yep. really at all. So it definitely make a good surface for putting loads of cups and bits on. Nice colour, silver goes yep. with everything, nice aluminium. doesn't it? No sharp edges again. No, it's beautifully made. Really again. nicely yeah. made. I think so. these are thirty-five pounds. Um, Yes, camper van again. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, think yeah. below. So definitely, definitely worth considering if you want that extra workspace. Yeah. Nice bit of kit. Nice bit of kit. Okay. Right. Number 10. Number 10. Oh, do we have it, number 10? Number 10, I think we will talk about this. Sample prototype of a... Shelf. So, you'll have seen on our channel before that we've talked about shelves for the wardrobe and uh, it's always good to have a look and see what's around on the mm -hmm. market there's always innovation different things going on and we have been sent this prototype hence the fact that it's got kind of funky writing on <laughs> it, it and says on it, it says sample. prototype sample um, <laughs> and we haven't actually stuck it in the van yet however what we're thinking is this looks quite nifty mm -hmm. so it's nice and light um, and it's basically I think a it shelf. is just white under it's, all it's, of it's, this, it is isn't just it? It is, yeah if I, if I prepare that moment yeah it's, so, a, it's only white. Yeah, just white. Um, and this is designed to go in the wardrobe and stick in place. So if you imagine inside the wardrobe where you've got the, there's like a, an edge inside the wardrobe where the little door thing slides back into, this goes in there, pushes against it, and then these bits on the edge here, that sticky tape, you take that off, mm -hmm. and when you put it in there, you fold it in like this, put it inside the wardrobe, and then push that out so it sticks. This edge along here rests inside the wardrobe. Sorry. I feel like I'm going to get donked over the head with it in a minute. This edge here rests along the edge of the wardrobe. So that gives you some strength there as well. And then, and then obviously there's a lip on the front here. Ta -da, and then ta-da, you've got a shelf. So really easy, simple uh, design. Uh, not quite sure how much these are going to be yet, but um, we've been talking to Camper Van Bits who are designing this. Uh, and they assure me that it's not going to be mega money. Now... Uh, you, you, in you the world me, of Californias, yeah. not mega money tends to be. Yeah, it's under not got three pounds. figures to this. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I honestly. Might be ninety nine, ninety nine. But I don't honestly know. don't know how much. Yeah, I'm but just, it looks good. I'm just infused by this, and I think if you comment in the video below what kind of figure you think is the right figure for a shelf like this, that will help them too because they can gauge interest and they do watch. They'll probably shoot you for that. Well, they? they probably will. <laughs> but they. Do, I know the guys at Campervan 
um, bits, do watch these videos. They do look at the comments really closely as well. And that's why they come up with stuff like this. So the more that you comment about whether it looks good, whether you think there's something you'd you like want? instead. What are you missing? If you're looking at this design mm. going, that ain't gonna work because X, Y, and Z. Tell them. Like, yeah, tell them, put them in the comments below. They do own Californias though. That's what I'd say. Yeah. You know, it's not, camp the people who run Camper Van Bits, don't just kind of dream this stuff up. They do have their own Californias personally that they have themselves and they run with their kids and their families. So they tend to design stuff which they've used or they want mm. and they think is gonna be useful for other people. So yeah, yeah we quite like this. Um, gonna be giving this a good test over the next little while, yeah. aren't we? Um, but I know they're keen to get these into production and do it quickly. So the reason it's in our Christmas gifts is if you like it, then talk to them make sure that they get that production one going and then hopefully you can get one in time for Christmas. Otherwise it's a bit daft, it's yeah. on a Christmas gift, isn't it? Oh, Sorry. They're probably gonna there shoot. might be some... They're, they're gonna shoot me for that there, now There might well. be some disappointed people looking under the Christmas tree hoping blaming for us. a shelf and blaming us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> right. Um, so we've got two more things yeah. to so talk to you about. Penultimate number 11. Penultimate is... Are you getting excited because the competition is coming up soon? <laughs> so is some protection in the van for the glass worktops. We're always a little bit worried about our glass worktops, we have to say, because you only need something which is a little bit sharp and you can scratch glass quite easily. I mean, they look they look fantastic. They're smoked, mm -hmm. you know, it all feels very nice in here. We're always a little bit worried about whether it's gonna be okay or not. Yeah, and I um, dread to think how much they are if you Yeah, need and to I've got a feeling them. we do actually have a I scratch think we've on got ours a teeny, somewhere. Teeny yeah. scratch on Even the though top we're of so scratch. careful. We we've got kind of rubber trivets and all those kind of things in here which we try and use. Yeah. But there is an answer for that. There is an answer. And the answer is some handmade protector covers. Yeah. From pure plastics. Yeah. So we these can send these are, again to have a test of them these so there's three bits like this for our van because we've got a, a 6.1 which has got three bits yep. of glass so one and two three. three and i think probably the other thing we need to say is that they do a really really massive range of colors they do so yeah, to santa's little sack attention to detail there guys <laughs> so we've got this lovely little color chart thing that they sent us yeah so these are all the different, different colors of colors material that they, that they can do these in so ours are this Kind of stainless brushed, steel brushed um, like a brushed yeah. um, metal kind of finish on them which is really nice yeah and this on here i don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video or not there is actually a pl clear plastic covering yeah, over this so there are some scratches and things on there yeah. at the moment that is the plastic cover that yeah, we take off once we've installed have, them. have a look so, at the b-roll in a second yeah have a look at that so that. so that we've got like very stiff these are all kind of glossy finishes so blacks yeah, greens Another kind of black there, orange, burgundy, burgundy orange again, a yellow, a nice blue, dark blue, blue, um, a darker blue, or cream, cream and a white. white. I mean, if Dolphins. you can't find something there that fits with your sort style, of what you're yeah. trying to if style your, you might be and trying to jazz like, your California or make it a bit more individual. Yeah, then we, they're great. We were thinking about maybe using these as a bit of a backing for loads of sticker bombing on it, those mm. kind of things, because you might not want to sticker bomb the actual glass in your van. Um, because you might want to keep them afterwards. If you sell your van, it's difficult to take something out of the van if it's fixed to it. Yeah. Um, whereas if you bought some of these, you could stick up on these from all the yeah. adventures that you do. And then if you do sell your van in the future, <laughs> take these off, keep them with you. And that's one of your mementos of having your yeah. California. And again, really nice quality. You can probably just about see there how thick yeah. these are. So these so are actually made. Two or three mil, aren't they? They're actually made of the same kind of material that the cupboards are made from in the California. Um, so it's like a, a very thin sheet of aluminium on two sides, sandwiched in between uh, with a bit of uh, kind of harder material. So it's really strong, but very lightweight. It's very, very lightweight, yeah. actually, isn't really, it? And again, really nicely made. Yeah, no sharp corners or anything. And we have the offered them already up to the uh, the worktops and they fit perfectly. They do. They're, they're, they're incre incredibly spot well on. cut. Yeah. yeah. I'll pop those back in Santa's sack. So, right, are you ready? Competition time. Competition time and our final number 12 gift for Christmas. So, a drum roll. What it we is. got, Will? We have, and again, you've probably oh, seen these. Let's keep the suspense going. <laughs> projector brackets and screen. Hey! Now, I'm sure you might have seen these already. Uh, and again, California specific, but these are 3D printed projector brackets which work with this 
screen. And thanks to Carl, who's the inventor and creator of these brackets, we're going to be giving away two complete sets. Not one. Not one. Two. Two whole um, sets. To two different people. To two people. Yeah, yeah you can't really, have two yeah, sets. No, that's not um, so you And get that will be... A pair of these, which... Yep. Um, if I get them the right kind of way around, they hang like that, they and go your the, screen goes between them. They go in the pop top in the uh, where your sliding uh, rail thing is. This is California specific, so yeah. sorry guys, if you don't have a California, probably not going to work for your van, I'm afraid. You can still have a screen. You can still have a screen. You can yeah. still enter the competition. That yeah. is not a requirement yeah. at all. Um, but they sit like that, and then you can see those things there are nice funky cutouts, and yeah. then that's how your screen hangs in between them put the screen down and hey presto but you do need obviously some kind of projector now <laughs> we're not giving away a projector no, we're i'm not. really sorry um <laughs> so yes so that's the uh, that's what we're able to give away um in terms of buying these things you can buy those brackets from camper van bits off their website if you want a screen i know loads of you have been looking for this screen it's been out of stock for months and months and months they are as we're making this video today they are in stock on amazon 24.99 if you if you don't fancy your chances at the competition, get yourself onto Amazon. <laughs> Use the link below because there are many different sizes there of are. the same screen, so you need to make sure you get the correct size to fit in the right yep. place. So we'll this make is a sure forty. That... It's a forty. Yeah. Make sure you look in the description below to make sure you're picking the right one. Twenty four ninety nine. Though I think all the different sizes are different prices. You watch it; they'll change the price now. Well, and it, well, it might even yeah. end up being a bargain on Black Friday. Who yeah. knows? Never. Who knows? Who yes, knows? Exactly. So how do they enter the competition? How do they enter the competition? They need to put in the comments below so not on insta not on facebook don't comment email on the us. youtube video comment on the youtube video and you need to say win w-i-n and then we want to know what your favorite christmas joke is so pop that in the comment now there's a couple of little caveats here so you're gonna have to keep it clean <laughs> And the reason you're going to have to keep it clean is because YouTube moderates the comments. And if there's something that YouTube doesn't like in the comments, it deletes it and we can't see it and we have no control over that whatsoever. So keep it clean. And the second caveat is unfortunately, due to some postage restrictions, it's only going to be able to be posted to the British Isles. Yeah. Sorry for those of you who are abroad. And the postage restrictions are Royal Mail and just size of the it's projector the screen. The, the and all that screen is yeah. too long to actually go as a parcel so, with Royal Mail. Yeah. So sorry. sorry about that. But um, yeah. So that's it. That's and it. competition closes 30th of November. Uh, we will post the stuff out soon after that. Mm. So you will get it in time for Christmas. Uh, good luck, everyone. Uh, hope you have fun telling us. Really your looking Christmas forward jokes. to some of these Christmas We're... jokes. I'm going to pick my favourite. Yeah, then I'm going to Will's going to pick his well. favourite, and then that's the yeah. two winners. That's it. And we'll be in touch with you um, to tell you who the winner is, basically, won't we? Yeah. 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 So keep keep a watch on the comments on the YouTube channel because we will post back our. We'll winners. reply to the winner. We'll reply to the winner, and we'll add a comment onto the onto the yeah. video. Yeah. Uh, just after the 30th one. Yeah. Just another very quick Christmas present to you all. After the success of our winter preparation video, if you haven't seen it, check it out. We'll put the link on the screen. And talking about SwitchBot, all of those comments were seen by SwitchBot and they have been blown away with how much you really love that product. If you haven't been successful in winning the SwitchBot that we were giving away, they've given everybody the opportunity to get 30% off until the 28th of November. So check in the description of this video below. I'll put the, uh, the code on the screen as well if you can't see the comments in the description. But if you want one of those SwitchBot thermometers and the little hub which goes in the house, go and check out 30% discount off their own website and off Amazon. We'll put the details on this video now for you. Back to the video. Good luck. It's exciting. Yeah, so good luck. Good luck. Merry Christmas. Really hope that you've enjoyed our 12 gifts and you can find something in there for somebody that you like, somebody you love, <laughs> somebody your family, <laughs> you or like. even just <laughs> buy it for yourself because you fancy it. Why not? Who are we to judge? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting for Christmas this year. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> He doesn't know. I don't know. You've got everything. Look at it all. <laughs> so, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy shopping and happy entering the competition. And we'll see you all again soon. See you all again soon. Bye. Bye.